We are excited, George, for our guest that is joining us right now. Black Panther Wakanda Forever was one of the highest grossing movies of 2022. We are joined now by one of the stars of the film, one yeah. of the fierce Wakanda leaders, Winston Duke. Yeah. Woo, so good to have you here. And Lindsay and I were saying we, we wanted to see the coat up close. Oh, man. You know, I wanted to slim myself. <laughs> oh, 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 we love the wardrobe much. change. Hey, yeah. what has been the fans' reaction to this one compared to the first Wakanda film in 2018? Well, the first one really caught everyone off guard. You know, the first one, no, no one knew what to expect. And there was just this huge new moment. It was this watershed moment that everyone just kind of had an opportunity to, to see themselves in certain ways for the first time. And that was really great and really novel. And then it's really hard to make a sequel that can follow that. But, you know, reality really primed us. So we lost Chadwick. And this movie really offered this macro opportunity for people to say goodbye yeah. to him. But he must have been present on the set every single day in spirit. You would feel him, you know, you would feel him. You know, before we shot the movie, we all gathered. Uh, and as a company, we flew to his uh, gravesite and said goodbye. Mm. And that was a really great way to start the film and start the process. We also brought the new cast, you know, with us. So all the telecon people from under the, under the sea <laughs> came with us and they got to say goodbye as well because they knew him as this figure on the screen. Um, and it offered an opportunity to just really bond. And then as we played the movie all across the world, you really saw people get to say goodbye. In, in Lagos, people were crying, you know, mm. in the movie theater. So I would say, you know, this one really gave permission to grieve mm. and gave permission to have some closure and gave permission to understand that there's no right way to, to go through that grieving process. And, and you talk about giving permission. Do you feel that there's a license to improv as well? I mean, because as Robin was just saying, when she was watching the movie, she thought, ah, that was not in the script, right? <laughs> and at one point, you call one of the characters a bald-headed demon. Yeah, and, yeah. So is that just part of the, the improv? Where I was having a tough day with her that day. <laughs> and uh, I just wanted her to know how I felt. Uh, no, you know, it's, it's a really fun set, uh, Black Panther, mm -hmm. always. It's a very safe set. So Ryan Coogler, you know, one of his superpowers is that he creates this space where everyone can feel free and just experiment and play. And we really feel like family. So a lot of improvisation happens. It's a strong script, but a lot of cool stuff comes out of improvisation. And Denai was in the corner like, <laughs> <laughs> Do that on my take. Do that on my take. I need a reaction for that. Yeah. So, like, we, we really support each other in that way. So, it's a really good space. And it was such a great cast. And I want to make sure I get this right because Wakanda Forever just became the highest grossing female led superhero movie in the U.S. You should say that again. Oh, my gosh. And for all the people in the back. I know. You know? Uh, <laughs> good. Yeah. What was it like? Angela Bassett, Leticia, yeah. Denai, yeah. Lupita. What was it like for you to work oh, with these powerful my gosh. women? talented women my whole life has a bit been defined by strong women like I came to this country because my sister wanted to be a doctor so it was really about my family pursuing her dream and I learned how to have a dream because I watched her pursue hers and then like Lupita was the first person in my my personal circle that made it big and made it seem like this could happen for everyone and then on set, you have moments where that scene where Angela Bassett is like, have I not given everything? Everyone stopped on set. And gave her a round of applause. Like she had a standing ovation on set after the scene. You know, it got a little old after three to <laughs> um, But didn't you have a connection with yeah. Lupita in college? Yes. And I, and yeah, so we all, you know, it's just really crazy how full circle it's all come. You know, uh, Lupita was the person who showed me around campus as her work study. Angela Bassett is one of the reasons we all went to Yale School of Drama because mm -hmm. we're like, maybe she sat here and, you know, mm. maybe I could still smile, <laughs> you know? You know, what's love got to do with it? Um, and then Denai is also a really prolific playwright. And while we were at school, one of her 
plays played at the Yale Repertory Theater and Lupita actually understudied one of the roles and we all went to see that. Mm -hmm. So it's just like very full circle and... But could you have imagined then what it would all come to? Mm -hmm. You know, I've, I've always been incredible. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, I've always yeah. known that uh, I was gonna be really something special. <laughs> so I could, I could imagine being here with you. Uh, but but no, there was a moment in life where you know Lupita and I went to see the first um, Avengers together, mm. and we we're both obsessed with the Hulk, and we we're like, oh man, I'll do anything. I like you know. I'll hold the lights if they need something, you know? And to be able to just work with each other and work with your personal heroes is just, mm. there's nothing like it. What's your hope for the third Black Panther? What's your character gonna do? I hope I get paid really well. <laughs> um, but the thing about M'Baku is that he's very irreverent and he's a truth teller, he's the stress test. And now that he's the king of Wakanda, spoiler alert, yes. you know, <laughs> spoiler alert, he becomes the king of Wakanda. And um, I'm looking forward to his State of the Union. You know? yeah. I think it'll be really interesting. And of course, this was your first major film, but there yeah. are some Eagle Eye fans who actually pointed you out in a 2014 <laughs> Law and Order scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was the special victim. <laughs> um, I really was. That's not a, that's not even a joke. I was a special victim of the episode, Cedric Cedric Jones, I think his name was. And you know, that's that's like school in itself. But that led to something because you got your SAG card, didn't you? I got my SAG card. Yeah. I got. To meet Mariska Hargitay, oh, you sweetheart. Know, ice tea, you know, not mm. to be confused with Ice Cube <laughs> or Ice at all, Vanilla Ice. Um, uh, it was great, you know. That's an institution here in New York in mm -hmm. itself. Yeah, it is. Yeah, you are a sheer delight. Oh, thank yeah, you. Uh, thank you. And, I, and we know that you lost your mother in October, and so we send you our, our condolences. And I know thank that you so were much. thinking of her as you were out there and talking about the film and grief. Yes, um, you know, it's, it's, it's a hard thing, you know, uh, losing a parent is, you're not the same, and one great thing about Black Panther and shooting the movie, we were all grieving Chadwick, and they, they had us come in and say, don't leave your grief at home, like, mm. please come and process it here. It's a little different. Uh, doing press and things like that, sure. where it's a little bit you're expected to leave the grief outside, but... You know, I think it's really important that people understand, and we are all going through so much right now. We're coming through COVID. A lot of people are losing people. Um, death is something that is often really hidden. We don't really deal with it publicly. Um, and there's no right way. Yeah. There's no right way. There's no right time. And, you know, I've gotten some really great support from some really great people everywhere. And it's been... Yeah, it's been challenging, but the good thing has been just there's no right way to do it, and you just have to get through it by going through it. Yeah, thank you for sharing that. I'm thank sure you, you so helped much. a lot of people with what you just said. Yeah, yeah. thank you. So, all righty now. And you guys are getting together at 2 o'clock. I'm not jealous. Right. <laughs> I'm not jealous. Ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, ice cream. man. Ice cream. Black Panther, Wakanda forever. You she can get a live too. Uh, a it, 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 it will begin streaming on Disney Plus February 1st and will be available on DVD and Blu-ray shortly thereafter. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.